Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to solve the following problem taken from the 82nd Putnam competition. What we're going to do is we're going to figure out what g of x is and then we'll evaluate the limit as x goes to infinity of g of x divided by x. So let's begin. So we have g of x equal to the limit as r approaches 0 of x plus 1 raised to r plus 1 minus x raised to r plus 1 all raised to 1 over r. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the natural logarithm of both sides of that equation. So we have the natural logarithm of g of x is equal to the limit as r approaches infinity of the natural logarithm of x plus 1 raised to r plus 1 minus x raised to r plus 1 all raised to 1 over r. Now we can bring the power down to the front using properties of the natural logarithm. So we have the limit as r approaches 0 of the natural logarithm of x plus 1 raised to r plus 1 minus x raised to r plus 1 divided by r. Now if we evaluate this limit in the numerator we're just left with the natural logarithm of 1 which is equal to 0 and of course the limit as r goes to 0 of r is just 0. So we have a limit of indeterminate form 0 over 0 and we can use all Hopital's rule to evaluate it. Let's begin by taking the derivative of the numerator. Now the derivative of the natural logarithm is just 1 over its argument. So we have 1 over the argument of the natural logarithm multiplied by the derivative with respect to r of the argument. Taking this derivative can be a little bit confusing, but using the following identity allows us to do it very easily. And we have the derivative with respect to r is equal to x plus 1 raised to r plus 1 times the natural logarithm of x plus 1 minus the natural logarithm of x times the x raised to r plus 1 divided by x plus 1 raised to r plus 1 minus x raised to r plus 1. And of course the derivative of the denominator is just 1. This allows us to rewrite our limit as the limit as r approaches 0 of x plus 1 raised to r plus 1 times the natural logarithm of x plus 1 minus the natural logarithm of x times x raised to r plus 1 all divided by x plus 1 raised to r plus 1 minus x raised to r plus 1. And if we just let r tend to 0, we're just left with x plus 1 times the natural logarithm of x plus 1 minus x multiplied by the natural logarithm of x. And we can use the power rule to rewrite our expression as the natural logarithm of x plus 1 raised to x plus 1 minus the natural logarithm of x raised to x. So we have the natural logarithm of g of x is equal to the natural logarithm of x plus 1 raised to x plus 1 minus the natural logarithm of x raised to x. Now raising both sides to e, we have e raised to the natural logarithm of g of x is equal to the e raised to the natural logarithm of x plus 1 raised to x plus 1 minus the natural logarithm of x raised to x. And this is equal to e raised to the natural logarithm of x plus 1 raised to the natural, excuse me, raised to x plus 1 multiplied by e raised to the natural logarithm of x raised to minus x, that should be. This tells us that g of x is equal to x plus 1 raised to x plus 1 multiplied by x raised to minus x, which we can rewrite as g of x is equal to x plus 1 raised to x plus 1 divided by x raised to x. Now we can go ahead and evaluate the limit as x goes to infinity of g of x divided by x. Now we need to divide g of x by x. Doing so, we have the limit as x approaches infinity of x plus 1 raised to x plus 1 divided by x raised to x plus 1. All we've done is multiplied the numerator and denominator by x raised to x. Now what we can actually do is we can factor out the x plus 1 raised to x and x plus 1 raised to the first power and do the same with the denominator. This is important because it allows us to rewrite our limits or our limit is the product of two limits. So we have the limit as x approaches infinity of x plus 1 raised to x divided by x raised to x multiplied by the limit as x goes to infinity of x plus 1 raised to the first power divided by x to the first power. Which we can of course rewrite as the limit as x goes to infinity of x plus 1 divided by x all raised to x multiplied by the limit as x goes to infinity of x plus 1 divided by x all raised to the first power but we're going to omit the uh, raised to the first power notation. So we have that the limit as x goes to infinity of g of x divided by x is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x all raised to x multiplied by the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x. Now we can use this fundamental limit e raised to the first power is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x all raised to x in order to help us evaluate this limit that we have in our question. We've actually proved this limit in other videos, so if you're interested in seeing why this is true, go and check them out. That means that the limit on the left-hand side is equal to e, and of course the limit on the right-hand side is just equal to 1, 
because we just have 1 plus 1 over x, and as x goes to infinity, 1 over x just goes to 0, so we're just left with 1. Therefore, we have the limit as x goes to infinity of g of x divided by x is equal to e raised to the first power, which is the final answer to this problem. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this content useful. Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day.